Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing a half rad. The reason that we're going with a half rad is because I'm picking up a BZ style PLM header. And the way that the header is shaped, that's not going to fit with a full size radiator. So basically, you want to drain the coolant. I'll take off the upper radiator hose. And take off a couple brackets, unplug the fan, take the reservoir out, and unhook the back hose or the bottom. So let's get started. Now that the radiator's out, noticed on this side this one right here clips into the fan this one is for the AC harness that I missed on my AC video so it basically comes under here comes under here goes over to here you got a couple relays here and then the other end of the wires so I'm just gonna take all this out too because this car doesn't need it the AC is not going back in so here's that harness all pulled out trying to keep the engine bay clutter free and pretty much only keep what we need in here. So next we're going to be working on the brackets for the radiator at the bottom on the integrator much larger than a Civic which this uh, radiator is for. So basically we are going to Drill out the four spot welds on here and then take this bracket off and then set the Civic radiator in here and measure out what we need. So I'm going to get my drill with the 90 adapter on there. I'm just going to get a step bit and drill these out. So the bracket's all the way out, so now I'm going to try to mock the radiator out to figure out where this is going to go at. I have the spot marked out where the bracket's going to go, one edge is here, the other one's right here. I already have it down to bare metal a little bit, so I can tack weld this on. You could just as easily use self-tapping screws. I uh, got this uh, shaved down to bare metal. I'm using a trusty Harbor Freight welder. So I'm going to put some of my terrible welds on that and hope it holds. Alright, so the bracket's on. You can see those welds are terrible. But whatever, it's on strong. So if it's on and does the job, I'm happy with it. I don't care what it looks like. So I'm gonna throw some primer over this and where the bracket came from originally. And then we'll start to install it. All right, so I have the radiator installed. I pretty much just put on the lower and the upper hose. I did have to trim the upper hose a little bit because it was kinking right in this area. I uh, have this pair of pliers right here just spacing the radiator out where I want it to sit. So now I have to figure out a bracket for the top. The OEM bracket sits right here and it's super far away from where it's supposed to be. Uh, I have this uh, EG bracket just laying around. I may just um, take a rubber mallet and flatten this out and just have it right here and then drill a hole and riv nut it right here. And then also the coolant reservoir bracket. It came with this 
metal one. So I might just try to use this. It's got like these little brackets on there. So I'm going to try to fab something up with those. But right now I'm going to try to work on this bracket. Here's the bracket that I made. It's pretty solid. I got the reservoir mounted up. This thing's pretty solid too. Uh, the only thing is the hose that I have is too short. So I have to run to the auto parts store and get a longer hose. Um, I'm still not sure what to do with this harness. So instead of just having it hanging down in this area, I brought it around the back of the reservoir so it can't fall down. But I'm going to see if I could get one of those zip ties that with the uh, kind of like this factory one here. So I can put it in one of these holes and hold this harness up better. Or make some kind of bracket for it. Or take this OEM bracket off and find a way to mount that for that harness. But right now I'm just going to fill the coolant up and try to bleed it. And hopefully the car doesn't surge. So the radiator is all installed and bled. I still have to pick up the hose for the overflow. But it was pretty easy to install. The only thing you really have to worry about is welding that one bracket. But you could just use self-tapping screws if you don't have a welder available. Uh, when the thermostat came on when I was bleeding it, the fan definitely kicks out a lot more air than the stock one. Um, the temperature seems to be around the same, but I guess I'll see how it performs once I start beating on the car a little bit. Um, the reason that I did install this half radiator is because I'm picking up the PLM header, the BZ style, and you can't use a full radiator with that because it comes out too far towards the core support. But if you have any questions or anything, shoot me a message or leave a comment below. I'll definitely get back to you. Till next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.